Let's look at logarithmic graphs. For example, let's sketch the graph of f of x is equal to 1 plus log base 2 of x plus 3, and then we'll find any x or y intercepts of its graph. Let's sketch this by using graph transformations. First of all, what does y equal log base 2 of x look like? So let's say that this is the y-axis, and this is the x-axis. Log base 2 of x looks like this, where this x-intercept is 1. And then when x is equal to 2, y is equal to log base 2 of 2, which is 1. Now what does this plus 3 do here? By adding 3 to x, what that does is it rigidly shifts this graph 3 units to the left. So the graph of y is equal to log base 2 of x plus 3 will look like the following. Let's say this is the y-axis. And this is the x-axis. Now, if we're rigidly moving this entire graph three units to the left, what's going to happen to this point here, this 1, 0? And what's going to happen to this point here, the 2, 1? Well, 1, 0 is going to move to 1 minus 3, 0, or negative 2, 0. And 2, 1 will move to 2 minus 3, 1, or negative 1, 1. So here's negative 1, negative 2, 0. And if this is 1, then here's the point negative 1, 1. Now remember, we originally had a vertical asymptote here at x is equal to 0. So if we're shifting everything to the left three units, then the vertical asymptote will be shifted to x is equal to negative 3. So therefore, log base 2 of x plus 3 will look like this. All right, and finally, what does this plus 1 do here? What that does is it shifts this graph rigidly up one unit. So let's say this is the y-axis, and this is the x-axis. Now what is going to happen to this point here, negative 2, 0? It moves to negative 2, 0, plus 1, or negative 2, 1. And what happens to this point, negative 1, 1? It moves to negative 1, and then 1 plus 1, or 2. Let's say this is negative 1 and negative 2 then our vertical asymptote is still at x equal negative 3. Let's say this is y equal 1 and this is y equal 2. Then negative 2, 1 is right here. And negative 1, 2 is right here. And our graph then looks like this. So this is f of x is equal to 1 plus log base 2 of x plus 3. Now we're also asked to find any x or y intercepts. And looking at our graph, we have an x-intercept here and a y-intercept here. So let's find out what these values are. Now, to find the y-intercept, we set x equal to 0. That is, we have y is equal to 1 plus 
log base 2 of 0 plus 3, or y is equal to 1 plus log base 2 of 3. This is the y-intercept. Therefore, the y-coordinate of this point here is 1 plus log base 2 of 3. And what about the x-intercept? To find the x-intercept, we set y equal to 0. That is, we have 0 is equal to 1 plus log base 2 of x plus 3. Or subtracting 1 from both sides gives us log base 2 of x plus 3 is equal to negative 1. And now rewriting this in exponential form, gives us 2 raised to the negative first power is equal to x plus 3. Or 1 half is equal to x plus 3. And then subtracting 3 from both sides gives us x is equal to 1 half minus 3. Or x is equal to negative 5 halves. So this is our x-intercept. That is, the x-coordinate of this point here is negative 5 halves. And this is how we work with logarithmic graphs. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.